If you ever required to put together a network, then you're going to need hardware to be able to do it. But let's answer that first question. But what is hardware? Well, hardware is something that you can physically touch. So, for example, I can touch maybe the microphone in front of me right now. I can touch the, the keyboard here. I can touch the mouse. I can do things like that. They are all examples of hardware. What I can't touch is Microsoft Windows because that's software that's inside the computer. But hardware I can physically touch, and that's what we're focusing on at the moment today. How can I connect a uh, PC on a network um, to another PC and maybe to the internet as well. All right, so here's our PC. The very first thing that every um, device on a uh, network needs is this. It's a network interface card, a NIC, okay? And without that, you don't, you, you're just not able to connect to a network. Now it could be that that network interface card uses a, a wireless sort of transmitter um, to connect to the network, or it could be via a cable, which is what we're going to focus on here. But without the NIC, um, you cannot access the network. All right. And let's just, so let's just pretend this PC is connected by cable. And that's worth mentioning as well. How you communicate uh, messages between the actual transmission medium is really important as well. Um, so here I'm using a cable. Like I said, I could use radio signals, but here I'm just using uh, an ethernet cable. Okay, where's that going to? So we've got our computer, we've got a network interface card, and we've got a cable going somewhere. Where's it going to? Well, if you're using a star topology in particular, which is you know one of the most common topologies in like schools and offices, then it will be connecting to this device here called a switch. And what a switch does is it connects devices within a network, within a network, that's important to say together. So look, this, uh, this switch has got another cable sticking out of it. It's got another network interface card um, attached to another PC here. Um, and that is our network. You know, I've connected uh, two or more computers together, so I've got a network there. So if I wanted to send a message from uh, A up here to B down there, then I would send a message from that network interface card down to the switch. It knows it's going to be uh, because of IP addressing and MAC addressing. So have a look at that video if you wish to, um, and it sends the message to B there. All right, so that's our basics. We've got network interface card, switch, uh, and some sort of transmission medium. But that's a fairly limited network, isn't it? I can have a few of these, just like you probably do in your school. You know, I could have like easily 30 of these in the, in the classroom, or uh, in fact, I can connect together hundreds uh, of computers this way. Um, but I probably want to connect to a different network. I probably want to have access to the biggest network of all, which is the internet. So how do I do that? Well, I need something called a router to be able to do that. So you need a router to connect to a different network. Now that's a big difference between a switch and a router. If you, it's a subtle one, but it's an important uh, difference. So a switch connects devices within a network, a router connects networks together. And it does that by routing packets uh, to uh, the correct destination or uh, packets of data. So for example, I might have a router here that is connected to the internet, which I'm just going to do as a, as a cloud sort of down here. So you get the idea that I've got a network and networks going on uh, down here. Then if you imagine maybe some, at your house, uh, you will have another router. So we probably call it the Wi-Fi router um, here. And then that will connect somehow to your PC. But let's say this time it's going to be uh, wirelessly. OK, so this one's going to connect wirelessly to your PC. There's not going to be a cable involved. You've still got a network interface card, but it's communicating via radio signals. All right. Now, if I wanted to send a message from A over here, so this one, um, to C this time, so this one on a new network, look what happens. We go down here, we send a message down to the switch, the switch recognizing that this is a message which is going to needs to be sent outside of the network, then passes that to the router. So this goes out here because a router connects the networks together. That goes off the, to the internet, which has got loads of routers in it, which will eventually direct it uh, to this router here in your house. And then that will transmit the message uh, to your computer here. So it's computer C. So that's the way it goes. If you're going to cross networks, you're dealing with routers. The only thing worth mentioning is this uh, router here is probably going to be your home router, which is a which you will call a Wi-Fi router. Now that is a wireless access point. So that lets you connect wirelessly to a network. So it lets you use phones, um, it lets you use tablets, lets you use laptops or even PCs obviously with, uh, with wireless network cards. 
you need a wireless access point to be able to communicate wire wirelessly. So in this sort of scenario, this network interface card is acting as a wireless access point as well. So there are your critical bits of uh, network hardware. You've got a PC, network interface card, a switch, router, and a wireless access point, and it's all connected together by these transmission mediums. If you remember all that and what they do, you're all set. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.